Maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm not sure. But this is game number two in a best of three in the AOE Olympics. Nacho AOE is a great content creator, <clears throat> really cool guy. He's a 1600 ELO player, and all he has to do is face off against the Viper. <laughs> That's all. That's all he has to do. If you say it like that, it's not that hard. Yeah, so he's playing as the Khmer. And then uh, in the blue, we have Twig, who is a very good player from Argentina, uh, teamed up with him. You might remember Twig from Hidden Cup 2 qualifiers. Uh, if you were watching Hidden Cup 2 qualifiers, he came very close to making it into the main event. And has not played DE until recently. So he's, he's back in business. Um, they did not use the proper version of the map, by the way. Uh, I'm no admin for it, and I don't really care. But they're using regular Arabia instead of the tournament version of Arabia. So, I don't know if that matters. But it's worth pointing out. MBL is Viper's teammate. He's playing as the Khmer. And then the Viper is playing as the Celts. Oh, Viper, please go Huang. Please go Huang. See, the thing is, the Huang strategy is not really a team game strategy. But also, full Saracen and full Mayan Archers in a 2v2 is not really a thing at the highest level either. It's just that Viper and MBL were able to get away with it because Argentina aren't quite as strong as them. I would really like to see Viper make a lot of Militia or a lot of Siege in this game. Uh, but Celts are... Are a really good sieve to have in a 2v2. You can go into archers with them, you can boom with them, and then make a hard transition, hard switch into siege and infantry later. So it's not like he's picked this sieve to meme. Uh, though I do think there's going to be a barracks. I do think he's going to go for a drush. What's the difference between regular and tournament versions? Uh, kind of depends on the version. In the case of Hidden Cup, our Arabia was made a lot more fair. Um, which, like, it, it's, it's a long talking point, right? Because the version of Hidden Cup Arabia in the past, like Hidden Cup 2, for example, is very fair, but sometimes it's almost too wallable, right? So, But the way I would break it down is, it depends on the tournament host. So, um, I, there's probably 100 different versions of Arabia that have been out over the course of Age of Empires tournaments, and uh, a map like, like the uh, Olympics Arabia that I was seeing earlier seemed pretty bad in terms of gold positions. Um, but then again, the standard Arabia isn't necessarily perfect either. So it's just resource locations, the amount of hills, all that. What are the aspects of 2v2 that might favor some civs over 1v1? 2v2s especially is all about rolls. So the one flank goes archers, full walls are base, goes archers into crossbows and arbalest, and then the other person goes scouts, scouts into knights, into Paladin. That's what 2v2s are all about on a map like Arabia. Okay. Now, you'll notice Norway's not doing that, but they don't have to do that because they realize how like much better they are as a team. So they're going to make it interesting. Uh, Viper is sending the militia forward. They have Nacho. Nacho, again, I feel like based on like pro times... His build is definitely delayed based on what he would want to do. You, if you watched my coaching video for 1,500 players uh, on YouTube last week, see something as simple as this, like three these three houses. A high-level player is going to place the houses here. It just gives you a little bit more space. You don't have to worry about units coming through here. Those types of things. But yeah, I think he's going to go for scouts. And it looks like Twig, as Britons, is going to go for archers. And then MBL is going to go fast castle. And Viper is going Drush into... I think MBL... Or, or sorry, Viper is going Drush Fast Castle. Yeah. Viper trying to stop the quick wall from Nacho. Nacho fails the quick wall. He is Khmer, so we could hide in houses. But yeah, all Viper is looking to do is delay. Oh, the villager, the villager, the villager, Nacho! Ouch. That hurts. If you've ever listened to Nacho Cast, I can't understand much Spanish, but he's very, uh, he's very animated. <laughs> oh, he also lost his scout to Viper's TC. Oh, man, poor guy. <laughs> so I'm hoping after this is all said and done, and, you know, he's sad, he's upset with himself, he'll listen to some clips of me being an idiot casting him, and it might make his day better. <laughs> uh, or it will make it worse, I don't know. Good quick walls. Lots of idle time, though. Man, that reminded me of the Milmano uh, Drush video. Oh, only the OGs know what that is. Your Drush isn't even doing anything. Your Drush isn't even doing anything. 
Yeah, I'd say that the one person who's vulnerable now for Norway would be Viper because he's still in Dark Age. Uh, scouts will come out from Nacho, though it's probably not as fast as he would have wanted. And since he lost his starting scout, Viper didn't even need Loom. And Viper's now going to wall his base. Yep, just full walls, full walls, and MBL's been fast castling this whole time. Uh, there is Twig. He's going to have two ranges. And he's going to be producing archers. So we'll see what the timing on that is like with Nacho Scouts. I think if they were going to target anyone, it'd be Viper. Just like I said in the first game. Is there? By the way, is there a hole here? I think there is a hole between those Palisades. That might be calculated from Viper, but... Yeah, there's definitely a hole there. And Viper might not realize, because the corner piece sometimes has the flag on it. T90, why isn't Nika playing? I'm not sure. There's a lot of games in this tournament. And it's... It's... Um, the prize pool is... Like, it feels weird to say this, right? To say that a tournament that has a couple thousand dollars prize pool isn't a lot. But compared to other events that have happened, it might not be, like, as high to... Um, to really excite some players to play all the time. I, I don't know the situation. I'm just speculating. Man, three years ago, if we're like, what, $3,000 prize pool? We would have been like, yeah, let's go. I'm going to train three months so I could win $100. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how it's all structured. But I know Viper has a hole in his wall. And MBL's just found it. He's like, Viper, there's a hole here. And MBL has a weak scout. So that was sloppy from Viper. Maybe Nacho can get some revenge. The Viper wants to wall in his villagers. And fight with his villagers. And he's doing that right now. Okay, Nacho's got to get that next scout in here. Nacho, don't let him block it with the sheep. Alright, well now the scouts are trapped. And now Nacho is going to lose. He might not even kill a single villager. He's going to try and get her. <laughs> he's going to try. I'll get her. Oh! So dirty! So dirty! That is both that is one of the most impressive things that have come into Age of Empires 2 meta, and also one of the stupidest things. The fact that that is a thing now is unreal, and there's less lag on DE, so it's so much easier for, for all players. Okay, that one, Viper's just, he's just debating now as Nacho. You just know that Nacho's not doing everything else at his base because he wants to kill a vill from Viper right now. He's gonna look. MBL already in Castle Age booming. I just, you know, again, Twig, I hate to question him, but why are you not attacking Viper with Nata right now? I, Twig is by far the best player playing in this game for Argentina, uh, but you've really got to, as Viper saves another villager, silly, silly, silly stuff. You've really got to be pressuring the player who's most vulnerable, and that is clearly Viper. Vi All Viper's doing is defending with spears, and Twig is making archers. Like, yes, MBL's FC, and that sucks, but you're not going to pressure him. you got to pressure Viper. Instead, it it's like he's playing a 1v1 to play it safe. I can't say I agree with how Twig's playing it with his archers. Nacho's still looking for the weak fills. Let's get an update on Viper's weak fills. So he's got two on the sheep, so it's going to take a while. Okay, for every uh, weak vill that Nacho snipes, I will give 10 subs to the stream. All right, well, we're going to make this interesting now. I imagine it's going to be zero, but I could be wrong. He's still looking. Viper. What, what's he doing in the next stage? I think Viper's just going to boom. Oh, man, like this... In this entire time, the strategy from Norway is basically like, okay, kill us. That's pretty much been it. MBL straight fast castling with no army. Viper went rush with no follow-up. And there's been so much time. There has been six minutes where Twig could have had archers here. So weird to me. Hmm. Yeah, it's just going to be a boom. Boom and Siege Workshop defense. And now you arrive with archers, and it doesn't make any sense because Viper can make Siege. Like, Nacho is a 1600 player, so you kind of expect that he's going to have... There's going to be some some uh, mistakes here or there. It's not going to be as clean. But that is very peculiar as a team to not have the archer player go pressure Viper that entire time. 
Nacho is 1,800. Did he hit 1,800? Sorry, guys. Sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect. I didn't mean to disrespect. I didn't realize. Last time I saw him, which was last month, he was like 1,630 or something. Are they going to go full scorpions? They're going to go full scorpion disrespect. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm so torn on how I want this to go right now. On one hand, it would be amazing to see scorpions destroy. On the other hand, that's maximum disrespect. Khmer scorpions have 8 range. So, they're they're actually OP. Um, Celt scorpions fire faster. Alright, Viper's gonna lose that scout. Rip. Ripperoni, pepperoni. What's MBL's economy look like? 43 vils. He has five scorpions. <laughs> this is so slow. Choo choo. <laughs> this is so unbelievably slow. Alright, there's some monks here from MBL. Uh, so he's he's gonna have the monks around so he can convert knights, I believe. So because uh Nacho could make elephants or knights to take out at least small numbers of scorpions. But if you get to enough of them, scorpions are pretty sick. Yeah, of course the of course the uh, extra range on the scorpions is a team bonus, so Viper gets that range. Again, I'm torn on this. This is one could argue disrespectful. Others could argue this is they're just having fun, which is where I sit. And they're also giving Argentina more of a chance right now. <laughs> oh man, how many is this? We have okay, fifteen scorpions. Ooh, forward siege workshop now from Twig. He's Britain, so he has 8 range on the crossbows. And he denied MBL's additional siege workshop. Yeah, I'm with you. I think they're just they're just experimenting. It's not like they're gonna do this in a in the finals of a big tournament, but they're having some fun here. If Twig lands a Mackinac shot, oh man, it'd be beautiful. Just imagine. Just imagine flattening these scorpions. Oh, here come the knights and the scouts? MBL? I remember, he has two monks there. So the knights need to run away. Good micro from Twig. Twig's doing a good job. This is giving Argentina a great opportunity here. The scorpions actually outrange the Maganels, funny enough. Couple scorpions have gone down. Twig is repairing, which he needs to do. It's not enough. Wow. Nacho, two TCs now. Big eco imbalance. He's very focused elsewhere because he is 20 on gold right now. And only 14 on food. Compare that to MBL. He actually MBL has seven on gold. He's making scorpions. And that siege workshop is just gonna go down. This is ridiculous. It's a total of 25 Scorpions now, and more Siege Workshops for MBL. MBL and Viper are both ahead economically, on uh, if you compare it to the enemy sides. However, if Nacho gets plus two Knights into Viper's Eco, Viper's going to lose a lot of Villagers. Maybe including the weak ones, which I'll keep an eye on. But then again, then Twigs are going to need help, right? I think you have to attack Viper's Eco. The more you sit back and just try and play the way Norway wants you to play, the more they're going to get ahead. Oh, wow. You got to kill the deer? Really? Really? Is that what you think about wildlife? Nacho! But yeah, run in. Viper doesn't have monks here, as far as you know, and try and pick off villagers on the wood lines. Plus two knights. Uh, they'll, they'll destroy low numbers of scorpions, and they'll also fight underneath TCs. Eleven scorpions? Plus 15 scorpions. <laughs> Capoche, hello, man. Oh! Oh! Nacho! Nice! That was beautiful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is why scorpions only in a team game can be devastating. But can Twig survive? Well, Twig still has his ranges. Twig is just going to hope for as, as good a value as he can get, right? Um... Oh, get the weak vil! Get the weak vil! Gifted subs! Okay, I gotta gift some subs. Well done, Nacho. You finally got her. Um, I think... 
I think Norway are throwing this. <laughs> I'm not sure why they're losing. Really, I, I can't seem to figure that out, but... And we'll see the Siege Workshop go down for Viper here in a second. All the Scorpions from MBL and Viper are moving over to save Viper. What is this game right now? Now, having played somebody who's top 10 many times, this is how I feel. <laughs> see, if, if Argentina win this, do you think they feel good about themselves? Do you think they feel good about their win? Or do you think they would have rather have been beaten straight up? Like, if if Argentina wins this, it doesn't feel like a win for them. They're just like, oh, well, we thank God we won that because that would have been... <laughs> that would have been disaster. MBL straight up told me, he says, Every time I play you, I will never play serious. Because if I, if I lose playing serious, then I look bad. But if I win trolling, I look amazing. And if I lose trolling, it's expected. This is... I've never seen anything like this, though. This is so stupid. This is so unbelievably stupid. Just close your eyes for two seconds and open them back up and look at what we have here. Ugh! <laughs> look at this! Is Are they using cheat codes? I mean, obviously they have eco, but there's so many! The Vill counts are right here, so Viper has 83, MBL has 79, Twig has 76, and Nacho has 59. Uh, that is a knight that MBL converted a moment ago, and that knight helps out. This is crazy. I, Norway are going to win this. Norway are going to win this. Now, let's talk about upgrades that you can get when you're making scorpions. Uh, Siege Engineers, Chemistry, and Heavy Scorpion. They're all really expensive upgrades that take time. So, I don't know if imping is really going to help too much. Okay, Nacho is going to make guard towers now. All Argentina are just sitting back defending, and they can't believe this is happening to them. And double crossbow, which you need a castle for. Um, and it's really expensive. So my, my point is simply, I don't know how much imping helps right now. Because this is super expensive to make. Yeah, there also could be a Fuhrer Celtica for Celts, right? I was speaking more of the general upgrades. I don't think you can make knights against this amount of scorpions. You can make magonels, and you can hope for good trades. But you cannot make knights. You could make arbs. Uh, Britain arbs would have 10, 11, 12 range, depending on upgrades in the Imperial Age. The way that MBL sitting back makes me think that he is going to imp soon. I think he's idling his TC for imp right now. See how he's not creating bills? Oh! Oh, that's value right there. Nice work. I, th I, I didn't see that. I think that was three or four scorpions that went down. And Viper's imping, MPL's imping, and Twig is imping. Nacho is limping. <laughs> he is he has no space. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> no space whatsoever. And all the gold's over here for Twig. Yeah, so Norway will try and go for upgrades. Scorpions are getting so many kills on the golden wood line. MBL, he just signaled it to Viper. Like, I'm killing units here too. Now, Scorpions stack. If Twig had a Maganel on the way here, it'd be sick. He does. That's dangerous. I think Viper's going to want to get out of there. Look at the scorpions! Okay, Twig, eject it and delete it when you fire uphill. Eject, 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 eject. Go for it, quick! Twig! Fire? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a second. But Viper has Maganels on either side of him. There's 24 scorpions. That was amazing micro from Viper a moment ago. I've seen Viper Micro, but have you seen Viper Micro Scorpions against eight Maganels? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh no, Viper! <laughs> oh no! It could have been so much worse. 
But MBL converted two knights and is now using those knights to take out the Maganels. Those two monks have done so much. And Viper actually makes it out of there with 13. All the while has more reinforcements at home. MBL has the hill with scorpions. What did this reminds me of like ants or termites or something. Th this is unreal. Just swarming around. Alright, so uh, I'll look for upgrades now. Viper is getting heavy scorpion first thing. And chemistry. Fear Celtica and Siege Engineers would be the next ones for him. Siege Engineers would give him extra range. Does it remind me of Scorpions? See, it can't remind me of this because I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> In order to be reminded of it, I would have to have seen it before. I, I have never seen 2v2 Scorpions only. This is disgusting. This really tells you just how good the best of the best really are. At this point, it's just like Viper and MBL trying to beat each other for score lead. If you see them getting random technologies, it's probably just for score lead. Okay, 9 range on the Scorpions now. Yeah, I don't think Guard Towers are going to be enough there, Nacho. And uh, MBL is getting Siege Engineers, and he's getting... Basically all the upgrades Viper is getting, except Viper is getting Fuhrer Celtica, so his Scorpions now have 50% more HP. Wow. Uh, Nacho is halfway to Imp. I wonder what he can make. The Twig is actually in a decent position. Uh, he's, go he's gone for Onager. Okay, let's see. Nine range Onagers against eight range Scorpions. Twig can maybe get a few kills. Viper is, is rolling the 1800 now. Should Viper add help? Listen, any... Viper should add help. Viper should have boomed into Wodes and Rams. MBL should have made Elephants. What they're doing right now is extremely meme but extremely strong if you get to it. As for what they're going to do from here, I hope they don't do anything else, because now we'll have double crossbow scorpions. If you're going to meme, you have to commit to it, right? Yeah, so double crossbow means these scorpions are in attack stronger than the Celt scorpions in many ways. I mean... I'd like to see a comparison, actually. I'd like to know, because Celt Scorpions fire so much faster. <clears throat> this is ridiculous. Twig is focused on this side. Uh, he's doing well on this side. But now Viper's going to storm into town. Firing speed is off the charts. Nacho's not contributing anything right now. He's, he's hoping for Onager. This is going to be Norway's victory. And this is something... Just disgusting. Ugh. I I personally would have GG'd already. I, I don't know what the mindset is of the Argentinians. Like are they if they're laughing at it, like you, you just can't help but laugh at how ridiculous it is. If I was playing this, I because when I play, I you know, I play to win, right? So I would feel very I would have resigned. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I would have resigned already. Uh, this is ridiculous. Scorpions everywhere. 74 scorpions for Viper. 52 for MBL, who obviously has had more to deal, more to deal with. Oh, 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 oh! The castle, the castle, the castle, the castle, the castle. That castle's not going up. That onager's not going to do enough. The Onagers are just dying to scorpions. Two hundred pop scorpions. That's the next challenge. How many scorpions can you get? Just listen. Just listen. I won't even cast. Not just like, I've got this. <laughs> I didn't need Twig. Twig's overrated. I've got this. I can deal with it. GG. Wow. See, I knew that was going to be difficult. I didn't think 
that it would look so easy. Um, I, I still have to think back to how Twig played with his archers in Feudal. It was very passive. You, you knew that MBL was in Castle Age booming. He didn't even have Fletching when he arrived to Viper's base, and it was five minutes later than you normally would. In a normal game, you have one person go scouts, one person go archers, and they work together. Nacho went scouts, Twig went archers, they didn't work together, Twig never went to Viper, despite Viper clearly going Drush Fast Castle, and despite MBL going Fast Castle. So, in order to prevent this, because there's going to be somebody out there who's going to ask, T90, <laughs> uh, how do you stop 150 Khmer and Celt Scorpions? And after seeing this, that is a natural question. But the answer is, you have to hit them before they get there. And that was the time window for Twig and Nacho to hit Viper. Viper had a freaking hole in his wall, right? Um, and then also, uh, and Nacho did some of it. I think raiding Viper's Eco would be important. The problem was, by the time that Nacho got to raiding Viper's Eco, which, by the way, nice auto farm, Viper. I guess he didn't need food. <laughs> he needed wood. 500 IQ, no auto farm. But, um... But yeah, by the time he raided Viper, uh, MBL was already so far ahead of Twig, and the difference was too huge where it was just going to keep swinging back to either side. Um, I My heart goes out to Nacho and Twig. I hope they're okay after this. I hope they keep playing. I mean, Twig's actually going to play in an hour in a competitive 1v1, so we'll get to see how he can perform there. But um, So salutes for them, and salutes to MBL and Viper for going for that, because I've never seen that before. 139 units killed for Viper, uh, 56 units lost. He definitely killed more. I don't know if that means that Celt Scorpions are better, or if that means that Viper was better than Nacho. Like, the gap between Viper and Nacho was bigger than the gap between MBL and Twig. Uh, I think the Celt Eco clearly was better. Uh, food, wood, gold, all higher for Viper, which could have led to more Scorpions, which did lead to more Scorpions, right? Didn't he not have more? Um... Yeah, he did have more scorpions, and he was in more areas than MBL was able to get to. Uh, there is the timeline, and this was the window. This was it right here. You know MBL is going to be in castle, booming, but if he's in castle, booming, he can't support Viper. This was it. See that feudal time? I think the time in which Twig arrived to Viper's base was here without fletching. So that's a pretty big gap where they had to pressure. <laughs> oh man what do i even say what do i even say just for reference before we end this little uh clip for youtube you look at the leaderboard i think twig is on here right twig oof i need to play some 1v1s Kapoch is there number 21 i see he's in twitch chat too um uh twig he's got to be top 100 right Ah, uh, there he is. He's 66 right now. Yeah, so he's 66th in the world. And then you have to consider that, like, this is a Smurf. Uh, Kapoch has two accounts here. Vivi has two accounts here. There's probably, like, 20 names under this, which are multiple accounts. So he's top 50, basically. <laughs> and he's he just lost to that. It's crazy. Nacho is 204. Is Nacho 204? I, that's a really impressive level for him to get to. He must have really upped his game recently. If that's the case, that's even more impressive, just how good Viper and MBL looked there.